A lot between hiring his first staff and putting together his first recruiting class. It's been an eventful first couple of months for Cliff Kingsbury here at Texas Tech. Even with all of that, though, Coach Kingsbury taking the time to sit down with Texas Tech TV for an exclusive interview. We, um, we're going to recruit hard. I'm a guy who's always believed it's about players, not plays, and, and we have to hit the state hard, and we're going to do that. I know this time of year is very hectic for just about every college football coach out there, but kind of sum up your last two months here on the job. It's been a little more hectic than most, I think. Um, just trying to get a staff together and trying to hang on to recruits and find new recruits and guys that we really felt fit our system. Uh, it's been fast and furious, but it's been good. These coaches got in here and really hustled hard and I uh, feel like put together a solid class for us. You look at the SEC, it's typically more known for its defense. Obviously the Big 12, just unbelievable offenses. Is there a different type of athlete that you're recruiting now here? I don't think so. I, th I think just we try to fill needs in into the certain systems we're going to play. Um, and we're not too concerned about stars or rankings, things like that. We can see on tape guys we know we want and, and that fit our system, and, and we're going to recruit those accordingly. Cliff Kingsbury, he's put on a Big 12 show. How easy has it been? You've got six guys on your staff, including yourself, that played here. When it comes to selling Texas Tech, how easy has that been for you guys that obviously bleed red and black? Yeah, I think you know there's some street cred in that when they see us and, and we've gone to school here and had success here on certain levels. Um, I think that goes a long way with these, these student athletes coming in and viewing it and they know we've been through it and that's why we're back because we want to be a part of it again. Kingsbury to the end zone, Peters, touchdown! How receptive have the guys been uh, just in the course of the last two months here? It's been good and a lot of these coaches had previous relationships, you know, being from you know, different universities that recruited Texas heavily. Um, so that's been really good, and, and hopefully we can keep that rolling. No, 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 wall, 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 wall. So let's touch on a few of your new staff members here. Let's start with a new face, Coach Wallerstedt. What does he bring to this staff? Yeah, Coach Wally was, was with us at Texas A&M, and um, I was familiar. We played him when I was at Houston. He was at Air Force, and I always thought his schemes were really, really good and really difficult to prepare against offensively, and um, brings a lot of energy, a, a great recruiter. Um, and couldn't be happier to have him here with us. Mike Smith, the guy making his return back into college, what does he bring? Uh, lots of energy. I think those of you that remember Mike as a player, lots of energy, tough nose. Um, and having been up there in New York, knows all those schemes and all the pressures. And so um, couldn't be more thrilled that, that he decided to come back home and be a part of this. Trey Haverty, now he's coaching the defensive side of the football, kind of made a name for himself doing that. He did, and you know, while he was at TCU, they were top in the country a bunch of years in a row on defense, and so he, he's been around it. He's, he's really got a name in the profession as a great recruiter, and uh, he's done a heck of a job here, and uh, we're, like I said, super pleased to get him. How important was it keeping Sonny around, a, a guy that's been here through several coaching changes, knows the area, has played like a lot of you guys as well. Yeah, that was huge. He uh, he was really kind of the glue that kept the class together, and um, we, we were thrilled that he wanted to stay around. And um, he kind of, to me, represents what Tex Tech's all about, the way he carries himself, um, his story of coming to Texas Tech, and the way he made uh, a name for himself as a player and now as a coach. Um, just happy that he's with us. When you sit down with a recruit, what do you tell him? Sell me on Texas Tech a little bit. No, uh, I mean, it's, it's lots of things. It's not, not just one. I, I think they can see, you know, we sit down with them, the passion we have for this place and, and that we have a vision for where we want to take it. And, and I think that jumps out to them. And then having lived here and, and gone through the exact same things they're going to go through, uh, I think that speaks to them. Man, are you kidding me? 